Life has changed for Roger Logan since his life-saving surgery two years ago. I go fishing, we go to movies, I go out with my wife. We do things now and uh, that I couldn't do for years and years and years. 16 years bedridden in his Mississippi home. I basically was, was homebound or bedbound and uh, you know people had to care for me, wash me and feed me and the whole thing. So uh, it wasn't really life, it was no quality of life. In those years, a tumor growing inside his abdomen and growing to become 140 pounds, slowly killing him. After the first three or four years of saying it was fat and it, you're just fat, then they realized it was a tumor and then nobody wanted to mess with the tumor. That's because of its size and the risk to Logan's health. So Logan and his wife traveled 2,000 miles to Bakersfield Memorial, the only place willing to remove the tumor that was killing Roger. I knew the risk. I, we were told for years that you'll probably survive the surgery, but the, the, the wounds and, and the, the healing will never heal. You'll get an infection and, and that'll probably kill you. And I was ready for that because you know, I didn't have a life, you know, I, I really didn't have a life. So um, to me, there was no option, just have the surgery. Dr. Vipul Deb performed the surgery in January of 2017 and completely removed the tumor. I went to sleep, I woke up, it was gone. And in my mind, I just thought I would get up out of the bed and walk and just get back to a normal life. And I didn't realize the the damage it had done on my body. Now he's back in Bakersfield, hopeful that this surgery will remove all damages that tumor left behind. Hoping to have this surgery, get rid of my catheter bag, and then have knee surgery back in Mississippi, and then be a normal, you know, normal person again. And live a normal life with his wife, Kitty, who has been by his side day and night through thick and thin. She wouldn't change a thing, and I don't understand that. She would not change one thing.